and welcome to another episode of a fortnightly tarot card reading. I am Nilakshi. Namaste, and I have with me Rashmi, our special tarot card reader, divinator, and mystic. Welcome, Rashmi. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Okay, so before we begin, today we'll just ask a simple question: How is tarot card reading different from astrology? Okay, so it's very different, Nilakshi. It's uh, tarot card is basically uh, you connecting with your higher self or your spirit guides, as well as doing divination. So it's a it's an art of divination, and uh, tarot card readers can be hundred percent correct. So it depends on the experience and how intuitive they are. And uh, but when we do predictions like this for all the sun signs. Uh, you cannot be very exact for everybody because there are so many of one particular sun sign. Right. So, uh, what I recommend to all my viewers that you should uh, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Correct. Okay. So, without any further ado, let's begin with our tarot card reading for all the sun signs. So, what are we starting with? Aries. Aries. Yes. So, Aries as usual always. So, let me give Aries the good news first. So good news is some good news literally coming your way. Could be a birth in the family, mm -hmm. and could be a new contract. So uh, on the work front, and you have a very happy family life this coming fortnight. So um, that's the good news. But in the office and the work front, there is a little turbulence, disturbance. So uh, maybe maybe somebody's up in arms and somebody's opposing you. So there you have to be careful. And um, finances are okay, but you need to be controlling your finances. And also, um, it's a time of decision making. Make that decision now before it's too late. I would say, um, and uh, do some deep breathing exercises, which I say for so many signs mm -hmm. that will really help. So now let's go on to Taurus. So Taurians. An obstacle, literally an obstacle. So you have to cross that uh, obstacle and reach where you want. And there is a card, though. Conversely, that you have been through this period on your work front or your business, where you've been struggling, you know, to make things happen for you. So this time, uh, you know, this fortnight, you're feeling much more relaxed. So some things have happened, or you seeing in the offing that some things are happening. So you're feeling more relaxed and more anchored, right? So have a little more patience and you're almost there. So on the love front and the personal front, something very good, somebody from your past is coming up. And also the person from your past com that's coming up, you're leaving aside the resentments or, you know, the unhappiness maybe with this uh, person in the past you had, all that you're leaving behind and you're starting anew. So it could be a you know, your partner, a new relationship, those of you who are already in a relationship. So you're leaving the resentments behind and starting afresh. So that's a uh, great uh, card actually. And you also have the hope card, the wish card. So that's a great uh, reading for Taurians. Great. Yeah. So now let's see the next sign. Gemini. Gemini. So Geminians, uh, somebody literally in your environment is coming to help you out with something and it could be a female, a lady, right? So they're going to help you also to uncover something. So you were troubled about a certain thing which you, you know, you couldn't point your finger at. So this person is going to reveal that to you. So, uh, so it's, a, it's a relief for you now. Money is great and expenditures are also great. So it's all in all a good uh, fortnight for your finances and work front is good and uh, work front is also good in the sense that you have achieved something you're feeling uh, very happy yeah you're feeling very happy because you have achieved that particular thing you really really wanted but another advisory card which is like an advice says that don't over expect and never over expect from people also the less you expect the happier you are so that should be your mantra for this uh, fortnight. And try and wear pink colors. Pink is going to allow new things happening to you, new opportunities, new friends even coming into your life. Hmm. So um, that's for Gemini. Gemini. And now let's do now that. let's move on to Cancer. To Cancer. That's 
her sign. Yes. <laughs> I always remember. <laughs> so you have the sun card, which is so amazing. Mm -hmm. That's from my Lenormand cards. So the sun card would mean you are shining. It would also mean, are you planning a holiday or a break? I'm wishing for a holiday. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what so, happens. No, but then the next card says, you're planning for one, but it's going to get a little delayed. Yeah. Because this has come reverse. Mm -hmm. So that's also a card of travel. So travel is in your mind. And this could also mean a lot of communication from, uh, you know, from your various projects, mm -hmm. from your various, uh, you know, because I know you're global. So you go global for many things, for your right. meditation, for whatever. So you are maybe getting a new contract, maybe getting messages. Yeah. So for this is for all cancers we're doing. Great. Right. And money is good. This fortnight yeah. cancer Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you're feeling low energy level. Because maybe there's so much hectic activity, Cancerians. So suddenly you feel a little, you know, you are up and about, you're spending a lot of energy, but suddenly you feel low energy. So look after yourself and spend some time for your, uh, you know, your own self. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And acceptance. Accept what is. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like almost like for the earlier sign. The more you accept things, the happier you are. Right. Yeah. So your mantra is acceptance. Now we move on with Leo. Leo. So Leons are on crossroads. They need to be, you know, taking a decision about something. So maybe in a situation you're at crossroads, you don't know which way to go, which direction to take. Or maybe in a relationship you're at cross crossroads. One, maybe some of you are breaking up and making up, and some of you are have broken up and getting into something new. Mm -hmm. But you still not decided. So that's why I said crossroads. And be careful of your finances because uh, either you're over spending or maybe some of you, I'm not saying all of you, maybe some of you could have lost a particular job or you know if they're self-employed so they feel money is a little scarce but not to worry, look up because uh, money will also come. And unexpectedly you're going to get an answer to an ongoing, like I said, mm -hmm. they're on crossroads. So unexpectedly, there will be a solution. So relax about that also. Now let's move on with Virgo. Virgo. So uh, Virgos, now I'm getting onto the not so great card first. So uh, there's a lot of uh, like I would say mood strings and maybe even a feud or maybe a, a you know an argument with your loved one or in your it could be even you on your workplace or could be with your partner, your life partner. So something unexpectedly is going to just erupt just like that. We don't, you, you don't even expect it. Mm. So uh, it's not a very, very negative situation, but you need to control it and things should get fine. And try and not be too extreme about, uh, you know, you're either, uh, you know, too happy or too, uh, or you're taking decisions in a very, Extreme sense, sense. extremity. Yeah. So yeah, so try and control that, and then everything is good. Because you also have the Ace of Wands, which is a great card. Mm -hmm. So people um, uh, who are not yet, uh, you know, decided on what to do, or people who were uh, not doing anything, you know, because of the current situation, maybe some people are stuck. not doing. Yeah, stuck. So something new is coming their way. Great, and it's a good beginning. It's a good new beginning. So okay. that's Ace of Wands. So even for uh, these people, that is Virgo, mm -hmm. there is a change of scene. Mm -hmm. So either the change of scene can mean a new job or a new scenario or a new uh, venture that you're going to start. Also, it could be change of scene just as a short break, getting away. I think now a lot of people have started getting away, mm -hmm. even in this situation. So good luck to you all. And mm, But do, do definitely look after yourself, do some yoga, do mm -hmm. some meditation. All this will help you. And yes. The card also says, let go of envy and you know past block emotions. Hmm. Otherwise, you uh, you know you are blocking your own chakras, okay. which is not good for you. Hmm. Okay, now let's go with Libra. So Librans, wow, love is in the air because there's a proposal coming your way, or uh, those of you who are already in a relationship, there's something good, maybe a gift from your loved one. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, travel is on the cards again and good news coming. So, this is not a delayed travel. 
definitely there is a travel and once again the sun card so that's very good so you are shining you are the signature of all eyes and especially in your work front though the work front is very pressured this card says uh, ten of wands that too much of work happening but you are still thriving under the pressure so uh, which is good because uh, you are you know, you're happy your family life is good that also means sun card and you've got some kind of a maybe increment or promotion or some such thing. So that's why you're happy all in all. And this also says a lot of pressure though, but you're happily burdening, taking on that burden. Mm. You know, you're happily taking on that burden. And to have better relationship in your, uh, you know, environment with your colleagues, with your friends, especially this fortnight, because it's important, like I said, you're shining in your workplace. Uh, if you can get hold of a jade crystal and keep it in your uh, purse or if you are wearing already an emerald that is great okay. that will really enhance your relationship plus it brings harmony in life ok so let's go to the next sign Scorpio Scorpio Scorpions are playing by the rule okay. you know they are actually going by the rule book and that's why things are falling into place for them Though it did take some time for them, they had patience plus now they are being very exact and very correct. And also they have this, uh, this weekend, you know, they are looking beyond themselves, you know. They are thinking of the larger good and you know this fellow feeling. So probably they are helping people out, uh, you know, to, especially I am talking about the work front, their business, they are helping people, they are going out of their way to be charitable which is a great uh, Scorpio and uh, some of you taking part in that competition could be a beauty pageant could be uh, just a game could be any kind of a competition mm -hmm. so uh, you're you're very excited about that and let's hope you do well and I I think you could be the winner yes? wow, that's yeah. crazy. and your love life is great so and another card says that a karna nakarya bhagati which means that what is happening around you, it's your own making. Mm -hmm. So if you want to change something, you are the magician, you are the controller, uh, uh, you are the one who can do it. You are the driver. So you can drive that change into your life. Yeah. So that's the advice for you, for this fortnight. Okay. So the next sign would be? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So Sagittarians, those of you who are not already in a relationship, you can expect a new relationship coming into your life. So that's, that's good. And uh, your work front, there is something which is, you know, you're doubting somebody. Somebody may have let you down. So you are not very, very happy with a particular situation or a particular person rather. So um, I'm sure you'll be able to correct that. Be a little discerning and listen to your intuition. Mm. You know, a lot of times when you cannot logically think of an answer or logically think of something, uh, you know, or somebody trying to uh, go against you or harm you and then the, your intuition comes into play, which will happen with you, right? And otherwise your love front is good, good friends in your life and you are maybe even partying and having uh, a good time letting your hair down this coming fortnight. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, and uh, try and keep um, a crystal, just a normal crystal or a pyramid crystal like that one if you can keep that on your um, work table, that will help you achieve your current goal, your current objective. That will, that will be really good for you. So let's go on to the next sign. Yes, let's go on with Capricorn. Capricorn. So Capricorn means you have the moon card. So uh, somebody is not being very truthful to you. Somebody may be hiding something from you. Uh, I won't use a strong word as deceiving you, but uh, be careful. Be, uh, don't be gullible uh, this coming fortnight. Uh, think from your mind and then take action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, also connect with your higher self. Also try and uh, you know get answers through your inner self. So connect with your higher self and go inward. Mm -hmm. So it's like an introspection. Mm -hmm. So connect with your higher self as well as go inward. Right? And money is good. Lady luck is smiling down on you. So uh, those of you are, you know, even in trading or a business, some money is coming their way. It's a, it's a good 
time for and somebody uh, could be a father figure in your life who is uh, coming to help you out with something so it's a uh, it's a good fortnight all in all but just try and um, be a little focused on what you're doing instead of handling too many things at the same time try and be focused on your one or two particular things hmm. yeah and uh, in the evening uh, light a diya if you can that would be really great or a candle where at the time of sunset mm -hmm. that will bring you good fortune and good luck okay yeah this coming week and this coming fortnight so the next sign uh, aquarius aquarius aquarians those of you it's a very good card it's a card of um, legalities those of you who are into some sort of a contract uh, forming or you know making a contract or uh, uh, fighting a court case or something like that so you you going to be the winner because it's come up right so uh, those of you had a long term battle maybe even over an inheritance a family inheritance or it could be any other thing so uh, that that is going to be in your favor the ruling is going to be in your favor and uh, so therefore the money is good so like i said uh, it's a good it's like a windfall it could even be a windfall coming your way wow so you can great. Yeah, so you can expect good money coming away, and opportunities as well. So those of you who were not working or had lost a job um, or were trying for a change, change, this change is going to be really good because there was a particular opportunity which you may have picked up. There may have been two or three opportunities where you picked up something which is going to be very good, and so therefore let go. you know a card of advice is let go of your worries what you have chosen and what you have picked up and what you are getting into is the best for you just trust that and trust trust the universe that's the best for you hmm. so the last pisces. sign yeah so the last sign is pisces pisces the going is good things were a little troubled especially on your work front but now um, something is turned around mm -hmm. in your favor so maybe in your job the current job or the work that you're doing things that were not going fine have now turned around and you're going to bear good results and things are going to move on in a good way positive though direction. yeah positive direction great thanks for that and uh, one card says that you're having sleepless nights and you're worried a lot of tension why is that because things are going your way now now is the time to stop being so worried mm -hmm. so uh, one thing you can do is either meditate do deep breathing exercises or if you have a amethyst crystal i tell everybody always this just meditate with that mm -hmm. for 10 minutes every day that will really calm your nerves okay even more than meditation mm -hmm. so meditation is good too and uh, but uh, before they take an amethyst crystal how do they charge it with its intention so that you can also expand yes that? so uh, you make that crystal first yours select it yourself in from wherever you buy it and then clean it cleanse it and literally talk to it every day mm -hmm. when you keep it here on your uh, third ch third eye chakra, chakra you you need to be meditating on it so like you do nalakshi you could do that also you keep it in your, in your hand palm oh. give it your energy and let it feel you feel your energy and then it becomes you and therefore then then put it here and then you meditate on it and it will start talking to you hmm. after 10 15 days you'll get a flash in your mind and that's the answer to your problem all right so that's a very good thing to do um with your amethyst crystal so uh and be alert the last thing i want to say for the pisces is be alert because could be something even better and something new coming your way mm -hmm. yeah very nice so that's all for the that's sun all for all the sun signs keep checking back with us for the next fortnightly reading and today we have a special segment where for all the people who have shared our videos and tagged us liked and commented on our videos we will be doing a personal reading so we have questions from our viewers we will be taking it and rashmi will be doing a quick reading to give them some solutions and answers about their tarot so let's begin So we have one question from our friend, and uh, she has given us her date 
of birth, we have her photograph. And this is her question. Hi, my question to you is, uh, uh, we've been trying to conceive for quite some time and I would like to know what are our chances, uh, how good are the chances we be in the near future? So, uh, this is Neha's question and I've got your date of birth and you want to know when you're going to conceive. Okay, so Neha, I've put out some cards for you. Let me just divine a little more and connect and let you know. This is definitely going to happen, uh, Neha. So, uh, feel upbeat and feel happy. Uh, though you've been a little disappointed because you've been trying for some time, I can see. And uh, so, roughly uh, the time when it should happen should be any time between 6 months to 10 months. So, be happy about this and hope this comes true for you. Now let's move on to another question of our friend. We have a date of birth. So this is Radhika. We have her date of birth which is uh, 7th November 1989 and we have a photo. So with that we will be doing her divination. Her question is will she be traveling and settling abroad out of India? So this is uh, an answer for Radhika. She wants to know whether she'll be settling abroad. Am I right? Right. Okay. So Radhika, this should come about. I think she's already abroad. Is she? For some time she has been abroad. She was abroad earlier. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I see in the cards. And uh, it would be a little bit of a struggle. But I don't think there should be an issue. She... Yeah, within a year, I think she could be there permanently, within a year. And is it a good move for her? Should she be moving? Okay. Yes, because this is where her, you know, she's going to get good opportunities, she'll do well. In fact, she's a career person, I'm sure she's working somewhere. And her career is going to take off here. So, I think this is a good idea, it's a good move for her. Okay. So that was all for all the questions uh, that our viewers have sent us. If you also want to ask any question from us about your tarot card reading, then please like this video, subscribe it and share it on any of your social media handles, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, and then we can take your question. So that is all for this fortnightly reading. Keep yourself in a great and positive state. That is all from us. Goodbye and Namaste.